I've got to, I've got to, I've got to tell you about something in a second after we read this answer yeah, report was, that we forgot to read. Yeah, I just now thought about that. I, so I didn't I think about here. it. So you, good job. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think about it at all. <laughs> Four. <Eric. laughs> All right. Uh, the distant days spent in that beautiful paradise are an illusion to me now. How long have I been banished here to the realm of nothingness? Uh, it is only by relying upon my anger and hatred that I have been able to retain my sense of self here, where all existence is nullified. Oh, boy, excuse me. I had to burp for a second there. We ate. It's coming back up already. Oof, that was oh, fast. It's too early, dude. I know. Uh, my heart is being overcome with hatred towards my apprentices, possessed by the darkness, and with that, with the anger I fear, uh, with the anger I feel for stupidly allowing myself to be betrayed. Is this darkness eating away at my heart? I cannot continue to idle my time here. Idle away my time here. What are Zay and the others attempting to do? I must unravel the mystery of these Ansem reports, intercept my apprentices, and defeat them. That is my mission. The only way to repay the world for my sins. And those who lack hearts, the heartless, must be the key. The darkness of the heart made flesh, the cursed shadows, who not only lack hearts but multiply by seizing hearts from any and all living things. Where they have come where have they come from? Where are they going? Three elements combine to create life. A heart, a soul, and a body. But what if the soul and body left be what if the soul and body left behind when the heart is lost? When the soul leaves the body, its vessel, life gives way to death. But what about when a heart leaves? The being does not perish when its heart leaves its body. The heart alone the heart alone disappears into darkness. There's little time left. If I am to, if I remain in this realm much longer, I will certainly learn these lessons the hard way. My heart is already a captive of the darkness. So th this is this, this is Ansem. Yeah, this Ansem. is Ansem, Ansem the, the wise, wise. After after Zem, uh, Zaynord and the other apprentices banished him him to the realm of darkness. Yeah, but he's not, he's not sounding super good in this report. No, he's not sounding super wise. He's sounding super pissed off. He mentioned previously the only way he'd managed to maintain his like his sanity inside the realm of darkness was to read and it was was to continue to write and to think. Yeah. But clearly he's been there for a while and it's starting to get to him. Yeah. And he wants to kill. All he needs is kill. Uh, what do Will and Elizabeth have to say about the current situation? What's up? It's the time where to the ship graveyard. Those monsters seem to like creepy places. That doesn't feel like something she would say. No. Uh, maybe they feel at home in the places like that. Personally, those places make my skin crawl. Uh-oh, about to sneeze. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Oof. I'm a liar. Oh, you saved it. I'm you a saved liar. it. I can't believe they were trying to harness the power of the Aztec gold. Were they? Those monsters were, will be invincible until we return all the medallions. We'd better hurry. Well, that's Hold the idea, up. is that that giant... Hang on. Yeah. Hold up. Mm -hmm. But they weren't invincible. We killed one and took the medallion back. I think he, I think he means the big Heartless. Okay. The one that changed forms after he took points okay. out of the... So... How come the other Heartless aren't invincible? I don't know. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> You're right. It's it's a flub. I don't care. It's it's, it's this I one this one jazz. heartless oh, is super see. powerful and also like he's apparently got another like look sort of somehow like muscled together a crew of, of pirates to follow him around and do stuff. Yeah, you're right. But you're it's right. like whatever. Who cares? It, it really doesn't matter. This Are you a, trying to hit that lantern or something? I was just you're just looking at the keyblade. I was looking at the keyblade. It's extremely thin, but I was it's trying to see thin. if it was actually like completely thin. Or no, 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 no. In not. in um uh, on the DS and the PSP they are, but not here. Okay. In, in in days and Birth by Sleep on their not not in not on the PS3 and PS4 version of Birth by Sleep but in in the vanilla versions on their original handhelds the uh, the the keyblades were essentially like a pixel th thick. Cannon only proves Barbosa's hostile intentions Doesn't as opposed really? to Jax who has no hostile intentions and he's he's a pacifist pirate. You're right. Who takes all the cannons off of his ships? Yeah, he's a good guy, dude. He's a good guy. All the pirates and Pirates of the Caribbean are the good guys. There's the good pirates and the bad pirates. Yeah, sure, whatever. The Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. I was doing. Hold on, oh, talk, yeah. to, talk to them. What's up? Oh, the nobody stole four medallions in total, right? Hmm, I wonder where they could be. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, this bell is dented. Uh, must be rough activ Must be the rough activity of the pirates. Sure. Uh, we know. Who knows where those guys might be? We'll just have to look everywhere. Got there in town, though. Hmm, I wonder where we should begin. Thank goodness Elizabeth told us. Just talk to Jack and go straight back to the graveyard. Because there's stuff at both locations. There, there, are, there are monsters to be slain at both locations, and there are a few chests here we didn't retrieve previously. Wonderful. Oh, oh no, no, we've been ambushed. Oh darn, I forgot. Oh, here we go. Redemption. There you go, you got it that time. Poof, wow, they shouldn't have come close to you there.
They almost didn't get on the boat. Almost. Yeah, it's much easier to fight on the Black Pearl than on the Interceptor because you've got Absolutely. this huge space over here. Keep in mind you got your blizzards to lock those guys in place, but you yeah, we need don't it. really need to. And I don't think you'll I don't think you'll need it. I'm just reminding you because it's something you'll you will need when you get to that boss fight eventually. That's the that was the wrong button. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, we'll just free. Oh wow, they broke up frozen. Somehow. Yeah, blizzard blizzard penetrates a little bit. Did not know that. Yeah, that's actually a feature like that's in uh, in uh, days and. Birth by sleep, because they, because the spells never get homogenized. Because like remember in the first game, fire was like a homing attack, and now it's like a little thing around yeah. you. They, they they keep messing with how each of them behave, and like fire goes back to being like a like a homing projectile, and and blizzard is also like a straight projectile. I'm guessing that's not a fight. That's really that's Lark scene. Remember, yeah, we I'm guessing that's not a fight we can really do right now. I mean, you know, we could find out very oh, easily. Oh boy, let's do it. Why not? You don't even need to save. Just like just go for it. All right. Who that cares? Works. Let's check it out. Why not, right? Like the only thing I can think of that we would really want to do right now to change it would be like we could we could throw on like a couple of a, like we could we could synth up some thunder resistance stuff to put specifically on Sora. This is this is really just to, this is really just to mess around right now. I mean, who I don't knows? expect to do it, but hey, we'll see. You're right. I think I think you probably could beat her at this level, but we'll see. We'll just see how this goes, shall we? We'll just see how this goes. Like I knew you could beat Zexian because he's not that hard. Once you just get yeah. a bit, once you just get a bit more health under your belt. Ooh. What? No, I was doing the right thing. You just didn't that do time. it at the right time. You, I, you did it too uh, soon. You did it too soon, Joey. Ooh, thanks, thanks, dude. Thanks, Dolan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's activating her big, tough, <laughs> strong move. There you go, Joey. See, look at that. You rode that out almost perfectly. Hers isn't that complicated there. No. Oh, wow. You might actually get her. We're close. Oh, man. Don't sit. Don't tell me that. Uh-oh. Oh, she's got another DM, though. This one's a bit oh. tougher. No, no. That's not. All right. This is fine. Oh, that one actually wasn't that bad. Never mind. I was thinking of, maybe I was thinking of a different one. I don't know. No! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that that saved me. <laughs> ah, please, Dolan, get up! <laughs> he has no health I mean, and magic, so he couldn't heal you anyway. Might as well toss uh -oh. an item on yourself really quick, because you got no... Oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, well, dead. Well. That, you can probably I'm gonna try that again, Do you want to give that another shot? Yeah, I'm going to give that another shot. Go right ahead. We don't get... I know what I'm talking about. You do, you do get, like, a bonus reward from it each time, so, like, it's it's probably worth it. I mean, we're going to have to do it eventually. Mm -hmm. We are. We are. I mean, we can always just come back and stomp it later. Because, yeah. like, if you if you wait, these absent silhouettes oh, yeah, become I, I incredibly easy. I can absolutely easy. tell that, for sure. The one thing about this fight is that when she's in multiple forms, like, they all, yeah. they can all take damage. So, like, there are, you can, uh, you can really cheese that by either, like, getting all of them in a single reflect spell or, like, all of them in a single big fire spell or whatever. Like, you can... You can you can basically be doing quad damage to her like okay. in, like on one moment. I'm not saying you are gonna be able to do that, but I'm saying like that's the yeah, way that's that you, that, that that's the way that you take like three bars from her instantaneously. If you if you really if your magic level's high enough and you know what you're doing, you just you just you just wipe her instantly. Oh yeah, no, that reminds me of a boss in Dark Souls too, where it can like multiply and there's one AOE like fire spell that you can use and it's weak to fire and you can kill it in like two attacks like if you time it right. I was a nerd talk about Dark Souls. No, don't worry. I'm talking I'm about kidding. the unpopular Dark Souls. Oh yeah, I forgot. People don't like Dark Souls too. No, they don't. Do you like Dark Souls too, Joey? I love Joey? Dark Souls too. No, I guess people won't like you. Though, Fight huh? me! I love that game. It's real bad, and I love it so much. <laughs> okay. My brother started playing Bloodborne. He doesn't know how to play it. Okay. It's not that he doesn't know how to fight. It's that he's like, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that. Like he, he absolutely knows how to fight. He absolutely knows like the, wow. Ooh, ooh. He absolutely understands like the game mechanics of it, and he's and yeah. he's and he gets like why it's fun, and he's playing it. But it's like, he's like, I'm gonna grind in this area for more souls. I'm gonna grind in this little level area for more souls. And I'm like, no, you don't, you don't, you don't grind in a souls game. You that's can not, grind, but like not grinding at the beginnings. Not that's that's cool. not that's not how that works. It's like, but the boss is hard. No, that just means you need to get better. Yeah. Grinding is not the solution, unfortunately, in a Souls game. Uh-oh. Oh. See, you... 
Remember how those are like, there's you only do it so, yeah, you only do it so many times. Yeah, you only do it so many times. But the thing is, I don't know that the it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, I understand. I understand. I'm not, we'll I'm not a, telling you you're wrong. Yeah, just, we'll give it a few more shots. If you, yeah, I've always, I will admit, the thing I've always struggled most with in any game is fights, like boss fights that aren't one on one. The um uh, the 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 beginning of that assault where she's like just has multiple clones rushing in and hitting yeah. individual strikes before there's the big one where they all dash in simultaneously. You can ride that initial section out with just the the basic square block if you time it right. If yeah, if you time it right, and then and then uh, and then you have reflect like ready to go, and you don't have to like try and combo through the entire thing. Also, if you lose one more time, we should attempt it once more and turn on all the combo pluses because we still didn't do that. Okay. And you'll, you'll be doing like like a thousand times more damage. Sure. We, we would switch out because there's no reaction commands in this fight anyway. We would just switch back to Rumbling Rose so you would do more damage upon finishers and we would just add, we would do, you would do more damage upon finishers and we would just add in all your combo pluses and you'd like you'd be doing like way more damage than you are right now. Okay. Wait, is it combo, is it is it boost or is it plus? No, I think I think Rumbling Rose gives you an extra finisher. It doesn't make your finisher stronger. I man, I don't remember. Because Decisive Pumpkin is the one that makes it stronger. Uh oh, somebody's texting me. Oh no. It's Aiden. What does she oh. want? Aiden, Aiden says, so I'm at this concert, and the concert lead singer goes, any, any video game fans in the room? Oh. Various whooping. Any Kingdom Hearts fans in here? Oh. So, so my, so silent that my, oh shit, was really loud. <laughs> They're playing a rock cover of Simple and Clean. It's actually pretty good. That's cool. That's, it's cool and very appropriate that it's happening right now. Holy. Boy, I need my I need my reflect back. I need my reflect back, please and thank you. See, guys, Aiden was in this episode after all. Good job, Joey. Oh boy. And then you got her on the on the rebound. Hey. You can see the video game now, right? Like this is this is like these boss fights are like where you go. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. There's video you. game here. Okay. Darn. You got Donald Joey. back on his feet, at least. Joey. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Joey. Why do you keep blowing your magic with cure? Because I can't... You I can't, you can't it. item in the air. It's fine. Like, it's... You, you panic heal before you hit the ground, and, and that's all you oh. got. There you go. Oh. Okay, that could have killed. That could have... That, that could have been much worse. That could have been much, much worse. This is... This is bad. This is worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is worse. I don't know what this attack is. Oh, it's this one again. Yeah, no, you're actually good. I said this was really bad before when I saw it, but it's actually not the worst. No! Okay, we'll we'll throw those yeah, let's, stuff let's, on. Also, let's just look at items because we might be able to up our thunder resistance, which actually does do a decent yeah. amount to like, help you on, on, on attacks from her on this fight. What do you know? The first fight was the best fight, and now I'm doing bad. It's okay. It's okay. We didn't really adjust strategy after the first fight. Now we're learning. We're changing. Mm -hmm. We're becoming better. We're learning by doing. All right, so let's see. We got a new ability. What do we get? Combination boost. Amount of time spent for egg. Like, hey, we don't need that. Okay. I mean, I guess we could use limit form on her, but like it's not a big deal. You're right. Uh, so we need. Yeah, just go up. We want. Uh, yeah. Got, well, I have. Well, I'm gonna use my limits. <laughs> you can use them if you want. We'll yeah. use the limit. Combo down. And you passed them. Combo oh, plus. Right. You got two combo pluses and two air combo pluses. Uh, increases maximum combo on ground by one. Yeah. Exactly. So. You want. You want all those. Just turn them on. Sure. It just makes your string longer. And since the well, I guess technically she does have multiple clones, but they're not usually like they're usually there's only multiple on the field if like they're already hitting you, right? Yeah. You're good. That's all you needed. So this is just gonna and go yeah change his to um to uh the to the Beauty and the Beast Keyblade. Oh okay. Do that first and then we'll mess with his equipment. Yeah, there you go. Now what do we got here? Okay. Thunder's taken care of. Let's see if we got a Thunder one that can replace that Blizzard one. Uh. Check their equipment. See if they've got a Thunder one that we can steal from them. Oh nope. Nope. Uh. Take that. Take the Gaia belt off of Goofy and give it to Sora. Okay, we'll just give him. Well, why not? We'll, yeah, we'll why that. not? For the Blizzard one, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Because okay. it's the same amount of defense, but just it's it's giving you Gaia. defense against Thunder and Dark instead. Yeah. Okay. That's not going to be a massive change in how much damage Sora is taking, but it will be. I'm gonna do an extra save here, just. Yeah, that's fine. And then and then like we can load instead of continuing, and you won't have to respec everything. Okay. 
So just if you lose, don't hit continue, hit yeah, load, hit and we'll load. pick the most recent save file. Gotcha, gotcha. <sighs> we can get her. We can do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me check out drives. So what would be the optimal? Uh, I mean, I limit would be useful here if you really knew how to use it, but you but don't know, super so yet. We're gonna just do master. <laughs> I would say master or or just your limit. You're not not you're not your limit form, but your limit breaks, because you've got you do have your um you have whirl a goof with Goofy and and oh, comet Goofy with Donald. Right now. Well, Goofy automatically. Yeah, because Jack can't because part local party members can't follow you into these okay. fights. So you only have Goofy and Donald in there. So you'll have both of their limits at your disposal. Because I get uh, master form is good, but on boss fights, because it, it, it's really better for like crowd control and air stuff. Right. It might get you killed right. doing this against her. So I would say limits are probably a better bet against her. The only form that's really reliably good against all the bosses is is limit form. Uh, the, the only form that's good against all the bosses is limit form, whereas any limit is basically good against a boss, because even if it doesn't do good damage, it at least makes you invincible for its duration. Right. How much it, does it use all MP for one? Or? Yes, it does. Okay. So probably only use it when you're like, when you either need a save, when you need a quick save, or when you're like almost, when you almost drained all your MP anyway or something. The alternative was we toss a couple ethers on these guys, but I really don't think it's worth blowing too many resources because we've almost beaten her yeah. like twice now. We've had her within a couple of hits twice. Yeah, what and throws me off at the timing of this fight, the beginning of the fight, is it'll it, like it freezes for a second. Yeah. So you're right there. There we go. That's not great. That's really not great. We've had even more load issues than I've seen in other videos of this game. Like I really think it's my fat old PS3 is like is making it significantly worse than it should be. Oh. We hadn't seen oh, that yet. I have not. It's a very oh, cool. It's a, yeah, it's a really cool effect. But it just it just basically, you know, kind of calms her down and gives you another chance to get a free combo in on her. And stops having multiple of them running around. Now she, I'm, sure, I'm sure she'll get a clone back out pretty quickly, but um, uh, but it is something. Yep. And it's and it's a cool little flashing move. Alright, here you go. Oh, it was only oh, one. That's weird. I, oh, I, th I think it's. I think that's one that lets her bring a second clone out. I okay. think. I think that's why. So it's a really brief one that comes out like that. It's been a while. I don't remember all the rules of all these fights. Oh wow! They were coming after you. They just didn't know where you were. They had your X oh, location, no. but not your Y location. Oh no, Donald! Yeah. Oh, gotta ride this one out. Please, please, potion. Darn it! Oh. Yeah, potion takes a minute to come out, and it doesn't make you invincible. Like, yeah. Uh, so hit load instead of continue. Yeah. And we'll give it one more shot. If yeah. you're up for it. I think I've been killed by that move like three times now, just because like once I, I don't. Hey, really... look, it's Kyrie. Ooh. Good to see her. Always happy to see Kyrie around. I guess if I should just try to block that and not dodge it, because they just auto get on you real quick right there. So I don't know. No Kingdom Hearts fans at Aiden's at the little concert Aiden's at, except for her. Or at least nobody, at least nobody else that was that everybody else was too scared to admit it. <laughs> you would be shocked by the number of people who love this series. I'm There's, not it's, shocked. It's, it's I mean, I'm just like it's it's a it's a really big deal. A lot of people it's really love audience. this game. It's a big audience. Disney's a big audience. Final yeah. Fantasy's a, not as big, but still big audience. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly a it's not an audience you would sneeze at. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like it's it's. It's easy to forget how much these games mean to so many people who haven't even touched them in like a decade. How many people are excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 who haven't played a game since this one, since it came out? What? You walked, like, you walked forward. I didn't know that I could do damage. Yeah. I should have known that. Well, I guess I should... Oh. Maybe I should keep walked on. I'm doing real duty right now. <laughs> You'll get that sentence out eventually. Yeah. I want to try World of Duty. I'm just keep, like, I want to know what it does. So I'll know. Not what it does, but how much damage it does. It looks like you just did about, a, like, two bars. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, no, no. Please. Oh, I can't block that, can I? Uh, actually, you can. Really? Yes, you can block that with your conventional block. I mean, like, you got to be good, but you can do it. Ooh. They're, they're timing, the ti issue. Yeah, the timing is not generous on that one, but you can block it. Calm down, Larkscene. Don't want none of ya. 
<laughs> you almost got it, Joey. Uh, you just gotta ride one more of these out. Yeah, just use yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> yeah. Maximum MP increase. That was totally worth it. All right. So that's how you use limits. You get them down real low and you panic. And yeah. And get yeah. Them exactly. Down no, that's no, that's uh, honestly there are many there are many extremely complicated desperation moves in this game. That's what people generally refer to them as when the screen goes dark like that. Like there are a couple that are really complicated that require like you know twenty perfect blocks in a row or whatever to get through. And it's like thunder. it's like do you know how to do that? Well, just just limit your way through it. That's one of those things we needed, wasn't it? Lost illusion. Uh, yeah, I think so. But uh, who cares? Yeah, fair. We'll worry about that later. That's that's a future problem. We, we, don't, we don't need any of that stuff right now. Yeah. If you want to take that Elven bandana off, Goofy, and yeah, get that Blizzaga chain instead, that might be a bit. That might be a better pick for him, at the mo at the current moment in time. I mean, you want to just keep this guy sash on then? Yeah, why not? It's oh. given us it's given us dark and and thunder. So like that, we're covering Oops. more bases with that. Why not? What do we have that's new? I wonder. Uh, yeah, any of them doesn't matter. What's new? What's up? Cloaked Thunder. Yeah, okay, so that's just a recipe for her thing. No, there's still something else that's new. I'm pretty sure it was the illusion, because I don't think... Did we, we get more... Lost illusion, yeah, because oh, we okay. didn't have one. We had the other... Right, yeah, you're right, you're right. My mistake. Whoa, there's more new! Whoa, whoa. So many new and exciting things. Oh. Oh, that's a variation of the other one I think we got that was like that was like a fire improvement. I think it's the same stats, but it just improves thunder instead of oh. fire. So it's probably it's probably still crappier than the shaman's relic. Yeah, probably. Uh, before we move on, uh, go back into Sora and um, uh, swap his keyblade out for the kingdom key. Okay. We, we cut scene shenanigans. Yeah, it's gonna be after a boss fight, so I'm unfortunately putting you at a disadvantage, but I don't care. No, um, no. Also, you may want to respec uh, reflect to um, to thunder. Do or I, okay, do I need both of them for the fight? Both. I would I would say thunder and blizzard. I don't. I, I guess not. You don't you don't need thunder. I, I would say definitely get lose blizzard to make a thunder instead at the very least. Okay. Like, if you want one or the other, you want thunder. Um, we're not we're not going straight into the boss fight or anything. Yeah. We're um, we've got to kill one more of these things But I'm pretty sure that after you kill the last one it warps you to the boss fight So I just figured we go ahead and uh, you know be ready for that. That's fair Yeah, there's just there's just a cutscene after the boss where I, I would much prefer he had the kingdom key Or okay. at least something less comical than you know the giant bear claw that we had already mm -hmm. Eight seconds you gotta kill this one quickly Ooh. Okay, please Please let, just die for me. Oh wait, do we need the combo? There you go, you yeah, got if it. We're doing the boss, I guess combo plus. Yeah, see, that's why. That's why I didn't. That's, that's why I didn't say to take it off because you just needed to kill that one guy, and now we're good to go. Just kill the one dude, and now we're all set. That's four medallions. We got them all. Did you notice that they all had a chain? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> they only had one model. Probably in Port Royal. Why's that? Organization Thirteen is after people's hearts, so they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. They'll hurt the townsfolk. No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then we have to help. Then let go and hold a run free. Is that spot pirate speak for sure? I don't know. All right. Oh, okay, we actually don't get warped there. Never mind. I guess go chat to Dolan and Gooby and see what they have to say really fast. How's it going, died. guys? I bet those heartless from before are waiting for us in town. They're using the power of the Aztec gold, so we need to rely on our own magic, on our magic again. Okay. Uh, well, we have the medallions. Now all that's left to do is return them. Organization 13 is probably in town, so I bet that's where the chest is. Da -da -dum. Bum, 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 bum. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, dude, Joey, you knew you read my mind. You're going for the 100% completionism. Oh. If you hadn't even gone through that loading zone, I wouldn't mind it. But it loaded, the load time was almost instantaneous, so I don't, I'm not complaining. I've seen the cursed pirates before, so I can kind of understand. Those members of Organization 13 aren't really people. They're something else, aren't they? I guess, yeah. 
They're actually remarkably similar to the pirates. We have to get to the blood to Port Royal. We can't let the we can't let them run loose in town. I, I just I just love that like literally one of the movies we visit in this game, Pirates of the Caribbean, contains another version of this game's villains that was just handled better than this game's actual villains. <laughs> yeah. It's just very funny to me. No, obviously we haven't seen all that Organization 13 has to offer yet, so I don't want to like you know, don't want to get too ahead of myself. But it's just it's just kind of ironic. Uh, it's back to town then, hey? Once you're ready, we better get moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Next. Go. go. I hope we don't get stopped by pirates and heartless. I don't know. Why would Pirates and Heartless care to stop us? Yeah. We're not doing anything important or valuable. Oh, oh hey, actually. We didn't get stopped. They didn't kill the pacing of the game. Awesome. Go is for me. Okay. I think he, like, drew him away. That now to break check. that curse. What about the blood? Hold on. Then what's this? Oh, I understand. Jack must have been cursed by that monster, not from taking the gold. Oh, I've no worries then. It's okay, Jack. We'll just have to defeat the monster, that's all. It's like we made that skeleton Jack, uh, Jack Sparrow model. You're not making us waste it. We're using it as much as we can. So this fight is interesting. Big gimmick, you may have already noticed. He just knocked, yeah, he all, the knocked all the gold out. out. So you now have to collect all the gold and put it back in to make the monster hittable. Okay. And he's gonna keep knocking more out as the fight goes on. Which is why when he is vulnerable, you wanna freeze him and do big damage quickly. He's got a few on him though. So you're gonna you're gonna have to hit him, even though you're not gonna do damage just to knock the coins out of him. See, I think I think I think magic is what's gonna knock the coins out of him. So you you wanna try like sh shooting a thunder at him. Yeah, see, there you go. Is that all? It didn't do damage, but it, it did let you kind of take oh. the coins. Oh, he knocks them out of you, though. Okay, yeah, this is this is a little annoying. Yeah, no, it's it's a bit much that you literally have to get all of them for it to work. Like the unless unless they really made your draw ability way more aggressive for these medallions, the fight's a bit annoying. But it's it's a cool gimmick. It, it is a cool gimmick. There you go. Okay. Now now fight him. Master form is pretty good on this fight since you're mostly gonna be doing aerial combos on him and you're gonna be hitting him with magic. So I'm not saying use it right now, but if you wanted to, master form is is actually vi viable in this yeah. fight. If well, you want to give it a shot. He gets gold and knocks it around like after he's vulnerable for a second time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, magic. Really. Mm-hmm. The heartless boss is stealing the medallions. Get in there and hit triangle. You gotta, you gotta right. get in. There's, yeah, there you go. Oh. I know the game like. It just says he's stealing the medallion, stop him, and it scrolls as slowly as possible, and even the information isn't actually helping you. It doesn't tell you you need to go and deal with that. So that so that reaction command lets you get most of them from him, so he only has 130 left now, so. Did he steal all of it last time? He stole most of it. He stole the vast majority of it. I hope this is all of it, because I'm about to be out of MP. No. Yeah, we probably should have equipped some ethers. I honestly didn't think about that ahead of time. Oh. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. I didn't think of it. But you see, when you when you hit him with the keyblade, he drops uh, the magic restoring orbs. So it's not the most unmanageable yeah, thing in the world. I'm just gonna do that. Let's see. Get in, get in there and oh, yeah, yeah, interrupt that. Come on. Okay. Good. This might be all of it. Yeah, that actually helps a lot. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna knock a lot more out of him doing that. Yes, he's zero. You just got. So if you just grab them all, you can. Uh... There you go. Might be able to do it. So master form? Yeah, master form's good in this fight. Unpause and repause. Yeah, just need to get a little bit farther than that. Oh. Yeah, I, I think I think you paused too soon and it wasn't gonna start loading yet. Now you're good. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. No. Well, just just hit him with magic now. Now you got. Uh oh, watch out for that first. Then you can uh, you can hit him with all the magic if you want and do some serious damage once he's not in this state anymore. There you go. Come on, dude, do, do that attack. I think you, you got you have to where he like starts draining it. There's literally none in the chest, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna oh. have to put some back in before he does that command. 
I'm invincible during that. I have no idea. Okay. I would guess not, because you're just not that lucky. Yeah. I'm not that lucky. You're not, we're not. We're generally not that lucky. Not you specifically. Uh oh. So the world, the universe uh, doesn't like us generally enough to make that a free uh, move. Putting the coins in. This is a cool gimmick fight, right? This is, yeah. I just, yeah. Like, if you come in here not spec'd, right? Like, imagine if I, like, imagine if you had Blizzard of Fire on during this fight. Yeah. Like, it'd be miserable. That's why I made sure you had, I was like, you need to have Thunder spec'd for this. Yeah, you, you did me a justice this time. And, like, for the most part, he's so far away from you that, that Reflect isn't very useful. That was yeah. why I was like, you can get rid of that if you want and put Blizzard in. Because freezing him in place when he's vulnerable can be useful, but it's like, it's, you know, it's... Thunder's really what you why need he, on this fight. Why am I not knocking any gold out? I don't know. Don't ask me. Maybe, I think, I think, I think that he keeps doing, he's not vulnerable during that attack, and he kept transitioning between that attack and, like... I think he kept transitioning between that attack so quickly that he never entered a vulnerable state. Okay. I don't know. Well, that, that's, that's the only guess I got for you. Yay. There you go. So you'll notice that even that, like that was the, even that move, like that sucked a boss in a little bit. Yeah. It didn't have quite the same effect that it does on mobs, but it still pulled it back in and did some extra damage. Okay. There cool. you go. Upgraded magnet. Donald got a better limit flare force. I believe that's his. I believe that's his best limit. Is it's duck flare is what it's. I don't know why the the limits have different names in the abilities menu and in your actual limit command menu. They have different names, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, that, despite it being a little annoying, that is a cool fight with a cool gimmick. All better, and not quite, mate. Sora, bravo. Just who was that child? At least they reference like, oh yeah, they want the hearts. Yeah, and we're playing another yeah, one. Yeah, check this out. They release heartless into different worlds. Oh, there are different worlds, are there, Sora? <laughs> then they get the hearts. We're never gonna stop them like this. What's the plan then? We gotta find their stronghold and finish them off once and for all. Sail in these waters. I've heard some tales, but not a one like this. Is there any way we can help? Hmm. Anything at all. You could give me a gun. There it is. We'll read that in a second, but first. There is something we can do to help, says Jack. Mm hmm But what could it be? They did exactly wow. what you said they should do. Wow, okay, cool. And since there are no undead pirates who can go to the bottom of the ocean, nobody will ever get there. They'll ruin the market for us true pirates. So that's why you went to Port Royal. And we thought you actually wanted to save everyone. A pirate always looks to profit, Miss Swan. Too bad. You had us going there thinking you'd turned over a new leaf. The question is, What's beyond the leaf, Savvy? Oh, oh yes, a reward. And what'll it be? That lovely blade of Sora's. Huh? <laughs> okay, sure. Hold on, that was far too easy. Uh, what's the rub? Now there, you see? Well, you've always got the pearl, Jack. That I do. But someday I'll gather a bloodthirsty crew and come to take that blade. Chance by then, I'll have the way to wield it. And if I succeed, I'll ask you two to join me. That'd be reward enough. Done. Maybe someday Jack will be able to use the Keyblade after all. Where's that? <laughs> He and Sora are kind of alike, don't you think? Or not? Just the contrast in art styles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like even the even like 
Sora is so much brighter in color. Exactly, that's what I was talking about last time. I love, I love that. I, I love Jack's line of, oh, that's you know that's cute and all, but one day I'm gonna get together a crew and I'm gonna come and kill you and take it, <laughs> and by then I'll figure out how to use it. It's like I don't know. That feels really in character. Yeah. Yeah, this was a pretty good world, honestly. Yeah, what I, what I really love about it is that like this is one of the only times where I really see the organization guys like actually do the crossing over that I've talked about previously. Like, look, sword came in there and he manipulated the the rules of that particular world. Like, he used the chest to generate a super powerful heartless. He he invoked parlay to negotiate with us and whatnot. And, and then, not only that, his plan succeeded flawlessly. Like, yeah. we killed the Heartless, and he got the thing, and was like, yes, like, that's, that's, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. There's a glitching volume over there on the right side of the screen. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's not good. Don't look over there. You can still see the world map a little bit. We are reading from before. See, I knew it wasn't a glitch. So that way, that literally means this room is positioned just in the world map, just the camera. I like, guess so. Huh. That's weird. All right. You learn something new every day, I guess. See, I knew it wasn't a glitch. That's I was going to comment <laughs> on the fact that, yes, it is a glitch. <laughs> anyway, what do you have to say for yourselves? Yeah, but it's still all cloudy and kind of fuzzy. No, it's clear as day. Yeah. You can see the sparkles and everything. What do we know for sure? Does that mean that by the time we finish the world, you guys will just be floating <laughs> in space? No, it's not even going to be their whole body. It's just going to be like their... It's the aprons? Their, yeah. <laughs> the aprons and the nose. Oh, boy. Hurry! I'm just watching the right side of the screen to see what it looks like when this when this menu goes away. Oh, no, it was it, yeah. it matched up perfectly. It that was exactly oh, it. Man. Boy, oh boy. Okay. So now it looks a little bit but yeah, more I just, clear. Yeah, I just I just really like that whole like the fact that Luxord had a very specific plan that used like that that was interesting. Yeah. That used the mechanics of the Disney World in an interesting way and succeeded. It's just like it's a great incorporation of the film's mechanics and it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. That's the sort of stuff that I wish they did for like all of these. Uh, anyway, before we end this episode, let's go ahead and read that Ansem report. Really oh fast. yeah, I didn't see it now. I'm the one that forgot it this so. time. It's okay. I, I, you remembered it last time, so that's it's, you know we're, it's cool. Oh hold on, I'm gonna burp. There we go. I did it. He didn't lie, fellas. My choice to befriend darkness here in the midst of nothingness was a sound one. Uh -oh. The moment I, st I stared straight ahead with a calm heart, neither rejecting darkness nor fearing it, I gained a newfound power. A superhuman power. The power of darkness. It is likely Xehanort and the others were enraptured by this power, eventually becoming its prisoners. I do not intend to allow my heart to be devoured by the darkness as they did, of course. With this new power, I uncovered the corridor of, a corridor of darkness that connects the realm of nothingness with the outside world. While it is still difficult to come and go as I please, my banishment is now a thing of the past. To deceive Xehanort to my apprentices, I first used my power to change form before returning to the Realm of Light. As I had suspected, Xehanort had become a Heartless. Under my name, he commanded other Heartless in, quest in quests to snatch away the hearts of different worlds. At the center of hearts, at the center of hearts Xehanort had stolen was Kingdom Hearts, which attracts tremendous darkness to itself and, it and attempts to send any and all matter back into its depths. What, uh, the other five had disappeared. Had they become heartless like Xehanort, or did they vanish after Xehanort exploited them? I became familiar with the unusual, with an unusual entity while, while pursuing the truth. Uh, it is the soul and body that remain when a being loses its heart. When a heartless is born, these entities appear in the realm of light to be reborn as entirely different, disappear from the realm of light to be reborn, reborn as new beings in an entirely different realm. I kind of rushed that a bit and flubbed a few plus spots, but that's okay. I was, mo I mostly did it. That was it. That was Ansem's report. Yeah. That was good. That was a good time, everybody. A good time was had by all. He hopefully, changed his form. Oh. Hopefully, an even we'll have an even better time on the next episode of Kingdom Hearts 2.